What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting a new series of the ultimate $25,000 mystery box battle. Now, how does this work? We're going to be taking five different stores and buying five different $5,000 mystery boxes and seeing who can create the best mystery box for that $5,000 price point. Now this is going to be spanning over the next five weeks for each week we're going to be unboxing a new $5,000 mystery box, giving it our own rating back to that specific store and giving them a cash prize or giving them something to do with sneakers, some sort of prize, but they're not going to know that. We're basically going to go to these stores and tell them we want to buy a $5,000 mystery box and we're competing with other stores. So again, this can be broken down five weeks, five of the best stores in our city of Atlanta. And if this is as well, we'll do this again with $10,000 mystery boxes, ultimate $50,000 mystery box challenge, and then do it in another state. So we'll see how that goes, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So first week up, we have ATL Addictions, a store that we've bought stuff from not in a long time, but they have a lot of good selection there. And we hit them up and said, hey, we're going to come. We want to buy this box. We don't want to see anything in it. Just have it packaged up, ready to go, and we will pay for it when we get there. So let's head to the first location, ATL Addictions, and see how they stack up for this $25,000 ultimate mystery box challenge. Let's go. First up is going to be ATL Addictions, which we have not been to in a long time. And they're going to be the first ones to make a mystery box and the first one on the list to see if they can make the best one. So we're going to go there now. I don't think Andre, the owner, is actually working, but he told me that he made the box yesterday and we can pay for it today and pick it up. So I'm excited to see how it looks. And obviously, we're not going to open it until we get back, but we're going to give a, a nice little, we'll do our own rating system as well. I think it'll be fun to give it like out of 10, like our own. Harrison Neville score. So let's go ahead and uh, let's head ATL Addiction and see what they got. That's box number one right there from store number one, and uh, I'm excited to see what they got in there. The total was 5141. That's after like tax and stuff, so that's gonna be a factor of it. But uh, this doesn't fit in here, so we're gonna see how we can fit it. Got it. All right, guys, just made a pit stop. They had these uh, happy dads at our local Total Wine, so we grabbed a couple. The warehouse, we have a Super Bowl party coming up. I don't know who Happy Dad is. It's the Nelks uh, alcohol brand, so we gotta support some other YouTubers. We're gonna have a rating system at the end of this where basically we go over the quality of the shoes inside, we go over the value of the box, and kind of give Nick and I's own rating on it. And then at the end, obviously, we'll have our own opinions, but it's really up to you guys. You'll be voting on a poll at the end of all this. So number one, ATL Addiction, in a nice box, nice Home Depot box, and uh, I'm excited to see what we have in here. We haven't done a mystery box from a store like this in a very long time. So I'm curious to see. I didn't tell them like to do sizes or anything. I literally just said what you can do, $5,000 mystery box, whatever value you think is the best. So let's go ahead and see what we we got maybe a little peek in there should we get a little peek or not to look i saw like a green the green converse maybe a green off-white converse let's go for there Ooh, see some boxes in there so this is an off-white converse and a size men's 10 and a half so that is my size and these are brand new check those out off-white converse pretty solid too i don't wear these too much i've had a pair of them before but they uh they're a little big they run like a size 10 fits like an 11 or 10 and a half is like 11 to me so that's a good one they had these at about 395 so one thing we'll say about pricing for this is i can't base it off of like stock x pricing value wise like it's hard to say you, you can but like you guys have to understand and i'm sure you guys know these stores have to charge a higher price because they can't sell it at stock x price because they have to have their margin because they have a storefront and the convenience fee of you walking to store and having it now rather than waiting three weeks for a shoe so that factors in for the price so that is the 395 and uh that's the first one right there i don't know if all of them have the price on them but full dead stock brand new i think it's a solid pair pretty good with that one all right first pair up let's see there's a bunch here oh van got some vans in here what's this this is small size four and a half men 700 bucks oh the fear of god vans in the red corduroy colorway if these are my size i'd actually wear these probably these are a smaller size so probably a little bit more rare but they these at 695 fear of god vans that's a good one those were like really hype back in the day the original pair is probably 1500 bucks throw back to a video of me going and buying these at the mall but that's a good one 695 i'm not sure how much you're going on all the apps and whatnot but that's what they have those at we're gonna look at it based off of like what we see in the shoes and sizes and, and kind of try to gauge what what it is so next up ooh, i know what that is is 
that a four in a smaller box? It's no. A two. Oh, it's a two. I haven't even had a pair of twos yet. Whoa, in a size 6.5 Y. Yeah, I haven't even had a pair of these yet, literally, with about. Dang, that's unique. That's pretty cool. Has its own individual bag instead of having like the overall wrapper individually wrapped. Boom, off white twos. I've had both of these pairs before without a box, but if I had to pick, if I had to pick, I'm going with the white and red pair over the uh, black and blue, but that's a clean, solid pair. I didn't even know about that box. That's pretty cool. I like that box. So, smaller size, 6.5 Y, off white, some vans. Ooh. That's a good one. The box got a little crushed though. Dang, ooh, hold on. This looks like a good size. I might need a fresh, oh, it's a 13. Sheesh. You guys can't tell. A little bit of damage on the box, but that probably just happened of us shoving it in the car. But uh, this is a Travis Scott fragment, and this is a size 13. Look at this. Boom, 13 Travis Scott Fragment Lows. Had these at about $1,600. This is a really solid pair right here. I love mine. They're, I feel bad showing these because of how beat they are. But they're like, they've been my everyday shoe for a while. But that's some really good hype in there. Right off the jump. I wonder how many more shoes there are. How you feeling so far, Nick? I like it so far. It's pretty solid. Good selection of four shoes. Got a lot of hype in there. Some current stuff, some older stuff. I think that's good for the variety. I think it was funny you didn't know what that box was. I know, I literally have not seen a box once of those. This is probably a Sakai. Yep, Blazer Low Sakai. Pull these out. Oh, this is, I haven't had a pair of these yet. The Low Sakais? I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like the highs better. I almost bought those for my dad for Christmas. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, I mean, they're not bad, but like, it's just, I kind of like the Blazer High better. These ones they had at 210. Another one I have not had, so that's two that I have not had. Like, I don't even think I've ever had the Fear of God Vans. I don't know if I've had them. So we got three boxes left. So we're already looking, I think that's eight pairs total. So that'll be another factor of like the rating system of like amount of shoes and, uh, and value wise. So what's this? Is this gonna be like a bread four is this oh no this is the jordan 3 cardinal is that about 300 bucks a size 6y i don't even when did these come out i don't even know it says a june 2021 sticker on it i don't even remember these releasing that's interesting that's a good colorway though something different not super hype uh different colorway the cardinal colorway and then let's go let's see if there's a purple sb box what does that mean nick i don't know if i had to get if it's hype it's gonna be supreme sbs it's gotta be gotta be what size that's four big dang size 14 Oh no, it's Chicago SB Dunks. That's pretty nice. Those don't even look like a 14. So these were at 695. So this is the Chicago colorway of the SBs. And uh, that's nice. Very sought after colorway, obviously. Same colorway as my uh, Chicago golf shoes right there. Check those out, check out the difference. But that's a good one. These are some good variety. I actually like this. A lot of shoes we don't see much. Yeah, exactly. It looks like we have one left. Looks like we got an off-white pair. Got a pair of off-whites, baby. Size 11. Nick, let's hear it again. Uh, if it was me, I'd want it to be like an Air Max 90. Air Max 90. It is a Air Force One. What do we got? Ooh, brand new Air Force One vault in the off-white. Oh no, they're used. Off-white vaults. Check those out. Dang. This is an OG on the channel. That's your shoe right there. This is how many pairs of these have I had? At least five. I've, I think I've had like 15. This is crazy. This is like, this is a shoe that I've had so many of. I love it. This is probably my pair, honestly. This is a used size 11. We might have even traded these in forever ago. Now, Nick and I have to sit down and converse and come up with a, uh, a rating of this and see what we think. So this is kind of, we'll give you guys the look right now. We're going to cut to some B-roll of all these shoes and then we're going to get you guys, let you guys see and I need you guys to take a mental note of it and you're gonna watch all these back when we do the final vote and see who won so let's go ahead nick let's figure out figure out what we think in so nick and i went over the different categories what we have best value best variety the quality of the box and then nick has his own category of the reaction which is my reaction to the box so essentially how i reacted so we're gonna go each of our scores for each of them and we'll kind of keep a tally on this this is box one it's hard to compare this because there's nothing to compare to exactly on the other one it's really tough to come up with these numbers on the first one so we went ahead and for best value i looked up all the values on StockX basically and saw the last sales compare them to like what you could buy for a last sale and got a value you point on that now this one was about four to five hundred dollars over five thousand dollars and so i'm giving it an 8.8 .8 out of 10 as far as value goes i think for me i said i give it an 8.5 like being the four five hundred over the value of five thousand is like right exactly where you want to be that's like the sweet spot but it could be just a tick more the thing is is like what it's hard for us to think what's a 10 out of 10 like thousand over like we got to yeah, figure that out we're so to we'll see that out. 
But the next is variety. So that means like the variety of shoes in there as far as brands, as far as like, uh, you know, the shoes in there. So it's not just all one thing. So I ended up because there's a good variety. We have Sakai's, we have everything. The only thing that nicked it for, I think both of us would be there are three off whites in there, which is still like, it's not bad, but three out of eight. So I ended up giving it a nine out of 10 because I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in here, a lot of hype. So. I think that's good with that. I mean, I gave it an 8.5 for the same reason. I really like the shoes. It's not shoes that we've been getting or seeing a bunch lately. And if it's something we've had before, it's been a while. But yeah, the three off whites kind of taking over the value of the box to hit it for me. Yep. And then we had the quality tab. So quality means like the quality of the shoes as far as like condition and all that. And so these are actually seven brand new shoes, one not brand new. So I give it a 9.5 because it's only one shoe that isn't brand new dead stock. Yeah, I give it I give it a nine because all of the shoes are pretty much brand new, but it is a good selection of shoes at the same time. And then reaction is last. So that's just Nick's category. So I'm I'm having a really tough time figuring it out because it's the first one he's done. But I think for me, it's like a 7.5 to a 7.75 on his reaction because I think he could go crazier. Possibly. So for box number one, shout out ATL Addictions. I think that was a really good box there. A lot of good variety for $5,000. Guys, make sure you're going to remember this and we're going to refresh you guys in each video. Video, but this is going to be box number one and obviously a week after today will be the next video and on and on and on so I'm excited to go ahead and see that and I'm excited to surprise the winner at the end of this but uh that's our ratings you guys can go ahead and write down or something your own ratings for the first box and then save it for the ending and you guys will tell us which is the best so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and thank you guys so much for watching subscribing and uh, I'll see you guys next time this is Harrison signing out